the real face of the Democrat Party comes out. With 2018 midterms hastily approaching, Democrats are doing everything in their power to steal the elections. They have attacked Republicans, misquoting them to sound racist or sexist. They have tried to compel Americans to bring illegals to voting booths. And they use the usual, tired celebrities to boost bad candidates. But all those efforts just might be in vain, considering the low-quality candidates they are putting out this year. That includes one outspoken Democrat in Pennsylvania, who has a very dark past. From Fox News, Scott Wallace, a liberal millionaire candidate running for Congress in Pennsylvania, was a member of a controversial private club in South Africa that used to discriminate against Jewish and black people and invited controversial speakers, including former head of the apartheid chemical and biological warfare program. During his time in the country, sometime around 2014, Wallace became a member of the Kelvin Grove Club in Cape Town, an exclusive members-only club whose motto is, respecting the past, embracing the future. The Wallace campaign did not answer Fox News questions whether he was aware of the club's history before joining it. Instead, the campaign accused Fox News of trying to smear Scott Wallace's character. Wallace is the same Democrat outed recently for trying to bribe his way into the Obama administration. He claims he wants to get big money out of politics. Yet he gave over $300,000 to Obama, angling for an ambassadorship. Now we know he was a part of a club that excluded black and Jewish members. That's a stain he's going to have a hard time erasing. For decades, the left has accused conservatives of being racist. They have bamboozled minorities voters in supporting them, claiming Republicans don't care. But time and again we learn the very worst racists in our country are Democrats. They promise the world to minorities. Once they enter office, they abandon them. Why else are the very worst cities with high crime, low employment, and terrible schools run by Democrats? They also happen to have high minority populations. If Democrats really cared, they'd put all their time and energy into helping minority Americans. Instead, they exploit them for votes. In the end, they make their lives much worse. Wallace will no doubt be just as bad, if not worse.